Hello and welcome to another episode of me using pastels, oil pastels. The uh, these ones, the Sennelier, um oil pastels, which I really enjoy using um, because they blend nicely. <laughs> And you can use them in various ways. You can either blend with them or just put them on, kind of like wax grains in a way. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> here we go. We're going to be doing a uh, pastel uh, oil pastel drawing of a tree. And I did this one. Uh, you can see I'm using as reference. Just point my light at it so you can see it better. Did this one. And um, this is actually on grey card, uh, but I thought, I wonder what that would look like on this pinky, purpley coloured card. Um, and then I wouldn't have to use as much uh, of the blue, <laughs> so I can uh, cheap out on materials a bit and just uh, do put the tree in, basically. So I'm going to use my 48 set and I'm going to use all kinds of colours, I think. And uh, <laughs> I guess I'll get started with this. I'm thinking which green. I'm going with this green. I think that's the green I used when I did my other one. I get sap green. And I need a black. I need a. Didn't use any brown, I don't think. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just give it a whirl. So, um, I found it's a good idea to do a bit of a sketch first. So, this tree, we'll use this black. This tree lives here. Well, it doesn't now anyway. And the, the grass is there. I might put a couple of clouds in. I don't know yet. So, we've got a branch. Branch there. Another one there. We'll do this one similar to the other tree. It's not going to be exactly the same. I'm just going to show you how I did it, really. Which black is this? Number 23. I'm going to have to give you numbers. <laughs> Number 23. If you use Sennelia pastels. And uh, that might help if you don't use them. That might not help. <laughs> oh dear. What can you do? It's not as easy as paints where you can just go use sap green. These pastels, they've got all kinds of colours. So here we go. Um, because it's done in numbers rather than says black, ivory black or whatever it is on it. Put some dark in there, dark in here. So we're really going for it with the dark on this one. This is the base of the, uh, the tree is quite dark and uh, like, like I've said before, this is just a example of what you can do. Um, don't feel like you have to do the same. Do whatever you like. Change. Change things to the way you want them to be. Okay, I think maybe that'll do for the dark now anyway and oops that's not the right one <laughs> now I was going to use some green uh, I was going to throw that in now in these areas oh I can't broke it I broke the green I'm using it sideways now and we're going to blend them together when I did this uh, tree picture, actually, it was a few uh, pictures ago, and uh, since then I've got a bit more confident with the pastels because I, like any art material, when you first get them, 
You don't know how they're going to behave. <laughs> you don't know if they're going to be naughty. <laughs> are they going to be good to you? You just, you just don't know until you use them. And then when you use them, either uh, it works for you or it doesn't. And if it doesn't, what are you not doing? What? Why? Why isn't it working right? Because when I first got these, I was a bit um, scared of them, I guess. I was a bit scared that I was, wasn't using them. I don't know. Yeah, scared of them. Because they didn't behave the same as oil paints. Not the same. There. Oil pastels. Oil pastels are different. So yeah, they have to uh, adapt a little bit, which is good for learning. Good for artists like yourself to learn and to, to adapt and to use different things. Maybe different media. It's good for you. I'm gonna put these bits of, bits of yellow in here and there because then when I uh, when I start blending and. I really enjoy blending. I really do. So much fun, especially with pastels. Because you have to get right in there when you're blending. Get your finger in there and blend away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Who doesn't want to do finger painting? Like I've said before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I may have lost the dark. Oh, there it is. I need my shadow, you see. I can't lose that on the shadow. That needs to be in there. Right, let's have a look. I think we can blend a bit. Or shall I put some of the yellow on now? Or the other yellow? I think it's cadmium yellow. Put some of that on there as well. Let's put some on, why not? Because when it starts blendy blendy, I'm gonna need some. So I was reading a book recently, an artist book. <laughs> and it's about learning uh, watercolours quickly. Because I want to learn them quickly. I mean, I've had bashes at them over and over. But I want to uh, use them, and uh, I have a bit of blue there, and in the shadow, cool that down. I have a bit of blue in there as well. Cool stuff there, down even there. Okay, what was I saying? Uh, remember oh yeah the watercolor book yeah the watercolor book um it said that um which i thought was really interesting i've never really thought of art in this way it said that when you're looking at subjects uh, for watercolor you're not painting the subject the subject is becoming a watercolor you're using the subject as inspiration for the watercolour painting, you're not trying to paint the subject. <laughs> I find that really interesting, just that. <laughs> I do, I really find that interesting because I'm just going to put a bit of red in there, I don't know why. I just feel like there could be some warm areas. Oh there. Right, um, yeah, so like this tree, I'm painting the tree the way I want it to be. I'm using my reference um, to create the painting. I'm not trying to paint the reference. I think it's interesting that is. It's a different way of looking at things, isn't it? So let's uh, have a go at mushing some of this together. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yay for mushing stuff together. So I'm going to 
I could have left it as it was and gone, I like that, uh, a nice impression of the, the tree, the red areas, kind of like warm areas up is nice, the blue areas, cooling areas down, I like that also, but it's so much fun smudging the colours together, isn't it? And we can always come back and uh, uh, make it a bit better. I'm just wiping my finger. Smudgy, smudgy. Yeah, we definitely need to improve it afterwards. But I like the uh, smudging effect very much. Okay, I'll leave the smudgy smudgy in the tree on the uh, that bit and then that bit here, yeah. Well, I'll use another finger for that bit. Yeah, wipe my finger. Use my thumb for this bit. So you have to use different areas otherwise you're wiping your finger all the time. So you use your thumb for one bit, your finger for another bit. liking that. Now I'm going to come back and uh, just use colour without smudging, you see. Some white right there. Oh, maybe I will smudge that one. Yeah, that's better. It was a bit too bright that was. And uh, use the yellows. Oops. Oh yeah, that one broke. I got a little bit too into it and I can end up breaking it. Get some yellow there. Sort of going in all directions there. Some of it will uh, stick on, some of it doesn't, but... It's just we don't one we just want to create like leaf leafy effects in the, the highlights here and there yeah it's looking better now adds a bit more um, life to it as well I like this light bit there I'm going to break that dark bit off there, have another area. Like yeah, like that. And, uh, yeah, it's still very impressionistic, I have to say, but we're okay with that. Um, what do I want to do now? Some of that green. like two layers of land. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's a quick tree picture. I think that's all right. That's what I wanted. I wanted to have like these warm areas. I don't think there's quite enough cool like here. That needs to be a bit cooler. A bit of coolness in that bit there. Yeah, I, I like that better. Those cooler areas. 
in there. I can soften them a bit as well, I think. But it's, you know, it's experiment, experimental work, isn't it? Having fun with it. Doing what you like. Maybe have a, have a cloud there. Soft and fluffy. You can blend them away. I'm kind of thinking about a uh, background hill there. Uh, indication of one anyway. A bit of the blue. A bit of the white. that tree picture anymore. We've totally gone off uh, off the rails. <laughs> mm, yeah, like that. kind of playing a bit now <laughs> I think uh, what I'll do is I'll add a couple of trees no not trees what you done a tree I'll just put a couple of little birdies in the sky and then uh, I'll call this one say uh, <laughs> kind of a quick one but it's different and that's what we like we like different I like different Oh, birds. Yeah, so there you go. Here's another uh, something different to paint. It's a bit more abstract like and uh, very enjoyable though. Needs a bit more warmth on the ground, I think, here. Yeah. Definitely did. A bit of warmth on that side of the tree as well. Yeah, anyway. Thanks so much for watching this episode, and I'll hope to see you at another one. Cheers, bye.